Are you a tennis coach that is ruled by a committee to the point where you cannot breathe in your job? If so, you need to watch and share this video. Are you a committee member that does a brilliant job working with your coach and your, their coaching team? Then you need to watch this video as well. This is an impromptu video and I don't take any pleasure in saying this, but I'm having coaches coming to me more and more often now who are essentially considering quitting coaching because they cannot move metaphorically. Uh, they cannot, uh, they have no freedom, no ability to develop tennis genuinely in the club because they're constantly having to report to committees. They are being restricted by what they can do by people on committees. So this is not a moan video. So let's get that straight first of all. What this is, is a call to arms. If you're watching this and you're a coach or a committee member and you do great work and you have a great relationship, then you need to write below the things that you typically do to help develop a healthy culture of tennis in your club. Because I'm kind of getting up to here with it now. The amount of people that are uh, on committees for vested interest, they're protecting their own little section of the club they are dictating what coaches can and cannot do from their business point of view and tennis development and they have zero experience of developing tennis and I'm a little bit fed up of it to be honest because I feel we're reaching a tipping point in UK tennis where uh, people are being put off coaching by volunteers in committees of clubs but I know for a fact there are tens of thousands of great examples out there so we need to start collating what is good practice in tennis clubs in the UK so we can start sharing it out so that people out there who feel lonely, trapped and considering giving up tennis actually have uh, some sort of list of standard. We want to make sure that this is become standard practice in committees. So get on it. Write down below, share, share as much as you want and we can collate all these things and we can do other videos where I'll start to uh, share what is the best practice for committees and clubs. I kind of have ideas of what should be best, but if you're in those roles actively and doing great jobs, then get involved. So we need to change. I've had enough of it. Okay, get on it. Bye.